Welcome to Reality Scoop. Please can you take the time to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and the like button, it's free for you but means the world to us, thank you. Now on with our video. In the small town of Aberystwyth, there lived a young, spirited woman named Emily. Emily wasn't your typical small town girl, she was full of life, brimming with an adventurous spirit that often led her off the beaten path. She had a charisma that was infectious, her laughter a melody that echoed through the narrow streets of Aberystwyth. Emily was known for her courage and wit. These traits, while endearing, also had a knack for getting her into situations that others would steer clear of. She was an explorer at heart, always eager to uncover the mysteries that lay in wait beyond the town's borders. And it was this same sense of curiosity that often led her to challenge the norm, question the unexplained, and venture into the unknown. One such instance was the night she attended a late-night party on the outskirts of town. It was a night filled with laughter, dancing and merriment. As the party came to a close, Emily found herself faced with the choice of either taking the long way home or cutting through the infamous Wailing Woods. The Wailing Woods, as locals called it, was a place shrouded in mystery and folklore. It was a place where the whispers of the past hung heavy in the air, and shadowy figures were said to lurk in the gloom. Many warned against entering the woods, especially after sundown. But to Emily these were just tales spun by the townsfolk, nothing more than stories meant to keep the children in check. Being the daring soul she was, Emily decided to take the shortcut. It was the fastest way home, and the thrill of venturing into the unknown was too enticing to resist. She stepped into the woods with a sense of exhilaration. The crunch of fallen leaves underfoot, and the moonlight filtering through the dense foliage. Little did Emily know, this decision would alter her life forever. The Wailing Woods, an ominous expanse of wilderness, was wrapped in ancient folklore and eerie tales. This dense, mysterious forest, nestled deep in the heart of Wales, was said to be alive with whispers that echoed through its ancient trees and shadowy figures that roamed its undergrowth. Legend had it that the Wailing Woods was a place of lost souls, where the spirits of the departed whispered their laments and roamed in search of peace. The whispers, they said, were the voices of these spirits, forever trapped in the twilight of the woods. The shadowy figures were their physical manifestations, forever wandering and forever wailing. Despite these chilling tales, Emily, our brave protagonist, was not one to be easily swayed by superstition. A young woman full of life and adventure, Emily approached the world with a bold curiosity and a fearless spirit. Ghost stories were just that. Stories, concocted to frighten children and the faint-hearted. The Wailing Woods to her was just another forest, albeit a little more mysterious and intriguing. One fateful night, after a jovial party in the neighboring town, Emily found herself standing at the edge of the Wailing Woods. The quickest way home was through the woods, a route she had been warned against time and again. But Emily, with her adventurous spirit, decided to venture into the unknown. The allure of the Wailing Woods was too strong, and the whispered legends too enticing. As she stepped into the heart of the woods, the wind seemed to carry an eerie melody. The whispers grew louder, resonating through the dense foliage. The trees seemed to sway to the rhythm of the whispers, and the shadows seemed to dance. Was it her imagination playing tricks on her, or was there something more to the Wailing Woods than just folklore? As Emily stepped deeper into the woods, the whispers grew louder, and the shadows seemed to dance. The allure of the Wailing Woods had drawn her in, and there was no turning back now. Little did she know, her curiosity was about to lead her into an unimaginable horror. But that's a tale for another time, the. As Emily ventured deeper into the woods, the eerie whispers grew into a symphony of unseen voices. The Wailing Woods seemed to come alive around her the rustling leaves and creaking branches echoing the whispers that swirled in the air. Emily, once the picture of youthful courage and bravado, felt a chill creeping up her spine. The whispers were no longer just noise, they were forming words, sentences even. They seemed to be calling her name, beckoning her deeper into the woods. The shadows around her seemed to move, to dance, as if they were alive. The once familiar trees now loomed as menacing figures, their long twisted branches reaching out towards her. Emily's heart pounded in her chest as she realized she was not alone in these woods. The tales she had dismissed as legends, the stories she had laughed off as folklore, they all seemed too real now. The shadow figures were not just figments of imagination, they were as real as the fear that gripped her. 
Emily's pulse quickened, her breaths grew shallow, her initial bravado, the confidence that had led her into these woods was now a distant memory. All that remained was a growing sense of dread. The whispers were growing louder, the shadow figures becoming more apparent. Her mind raced, images of the old tales flashing before her eyes. She knew she had to get out, to escape the grip of the wailing woods. Her heart pounded in her chest as she started to run, but the whispers followed, growing louder with each step. They were no longer whispers, they were screams, the voices of the wailing woods. Emily ran, the fear propelling her forward, the shadows chasing her. But the deeper she ran into the woods, the louder the whispers grew. She was trapped in the symphony of unseen voices, the whispers of the wailing woods. Emily's fear was now a palpable entity, her breath coming in ragged gasps as she tried to escape the relentless pursuit of the shadow figures. The night had turned into a haunting nightmare, the once familiar woods now a labyrinth of gnarled trees and shifting shadows. Emily, the vivacious young woman with dreams of becoming a renowned writer, was now trapped in a real-life horror story. Her heart pounded in her chest like a wild drum, echoing the whispers that seemed to come from every direction. The whispers were no longer just whispers. They were deafening roars, a cacophony of voices that seemed to be laughing at her futile attempts to escape. She could see them now, the shadow figures. They were not just figments of her imagination, not just products of the eerie tales she'd heard about the Wailing Woods. They were real, and they were closing in on her. Each step she took, each desperate cry for help only seemed to amuse them, their laughter chilling her to the bone. Running was no longer an option for Emily. Her legs gave way beneath her, the strength drained from her body by the sheer terror that consumed her. She fell to the cold, hard ground, her heart pounding against her chest like a trapped bird. She could feel the shadow figures closing in, their whispers now a deafening roar in her ears. She closed her eyes, her last desperate attempt to block out the terror. But it was too late. The shadow figures were upon her, their whispers a deafening roar that drowned out her desperate cries. She could feel them, feel their cold, spectral hands on her, their laughter echoing in her ears. And then, there was silence. Emily was no more. The whispers in the Wailing Woods had claimed another victim, their laughter echoing through the night as they returned to the shadows, waiting for their next victim. Emily's story was over, her dreams and aspirations lost to the darkness of the Wailing Woods, a tragic end to a life cut short by the terrifying shadow figures of the Welsh Woods. Emily's tragic end became another tale woven into the fabric of the Wailing Woods. This once lively and vibrant young woman, full of dreams and aspirations, became an eternal resident of the woods she dared to traverse that fateful night. Emily, who was known for her infectious laughter and sparkling eyes, left a void in the hearts of those who knew her. Her parents, friends, everyone who had the pleasure of meeting her, deeply mourned her loss. But the grief didn't end within the confines of their homes. It seeped into the very essence of the Wailing Woods, adding a new layer to its haunting persona, a new whisper to its eerie symphony. The woods, once a place of serene beauty, took on a somber tone following Emily's demise. The whispers that once belonged to the wind rustling through the trees and the animals scurrying in the undergrowth were now said to be Emily's. Her spirit, it was believed, was forever trapped in the place of her untimely end. The once harmless shadows cast by the moonlight now took on a sinister form, believed to be the shadow figures that chased Emily to her doom. The legend of Emily's tragic end spread far and wide, adding to the already spine-chilling reputation of the Wailing Woods. It became a story told in hushed tones around campfires, a cautionary tale for those who dared to venture into the woods at night. Emily's story became a part of the woods, her whispers a constant reminder of the terror that lurked within. The woods, however, remained unchanged. The trees still swayed in the wind, the animals still scurried in the undergrowth, and the moon still cast its ethereal light. But for those who knew Emily's story, the woods were never the same. As you walk through the wailing woods, listen closely, for Emily's whispers still echo among the trees, a chilling reminder of the tragic tale that unfolded here. I hope you enjoyed the video. We at Reality Scoop enjoyed making it for you. Please give this video a thumbs up as this really does help us out a lot. Also if you like our content please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be made aware of our next upload. By subscribing to the channel it really does help us out, plus it's free for you to do. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.